business model that's being unleashed is the inverted firm. Basically what's meant by that is value production is moving from inside the firm to outside the firm. All these digital business models are based on network effects, that is ecosystem partners creating value for other ecosystem partners, but you can't scale network effects inside the firm as easily as outside the firm. So what this effectively ha means is managerial attention shifts from inside to outside, hence this concept of an inverted firm. The radical change here is really, it's not just vertical integration where the firm is producing value itself, but really open orchestration. What you're doing is you're helping third parties create value for one another. So you're orchestrating the resources of a finance group or of a production group or of a services group and helping them create value for third parties. And then you take a small sliver for helping to do that or orchestration. So it's really fostering an ecosystem in which others create value and you participate in that. Um, and then the, up, the question you always ask is, how do you help create value as distinct from how do you take value? That's one of the key differences in the nature of the business model. The question is which technologies are essential in this context? If you think about data science, you think about cloud, you think about machine learning or artificial intelligence. Each of these help you create that data feedback loop where you capture data through the cloud or capture data with a relationship. You analyze it to improve the goods and services or improve the match, which then generates engagement and generates new business, again, which generates new data. So those are probably the principal technologies, again, because all these business models are founded on network effects, and these technologies help you create network effects. I figure there's fairly easy. You're going to see much greater innovation and opportunity, but you're also going to see a fair amount of concentration as you see relatively winner-take-all markets. We're going to see then a fair amount of regulation take place as we see more of these gigantic firms emerging. Yeah.